you came to me and that I were of me when I was so lost, so lonely. You came to me, took my breath away, showed me the right way, the way to lead. You filled my heart with love, showed me the It's to be with you, you are my one true love, taught me to never judge, now all I want is to be with you. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونستعينه ونتوكل عليه إنه خير ناصر ومؤين ثم الصلاة والسلام على خير خلقه وأشرف أنبيائه ورسله أبي القاسم المصطفى محمد صلى الله عليه وعلى أهل بيته التيبين الطاهرين المعصومين وأصحابه الخيرة المنتجبين. On the anniversary of the demise of our great prophet and the martyrdom of Imam Hassan Mushtaba, the grandson of our prophet. And also the anniversary of martyrdom of Imam Rida alayhi salam, the great um, eight Imam. Um, I say condolences to all of you, brothers and uh, sisters. Um, inshallah, let us decide that the moment that we are spending here together. Um, should be full of remembrance of Allah as He is watching us and the sabab and reward of uh, the zikr and the remembrance of Allah uh, should be included in our program. If during the whole procession of the program I speak for the sake of God and you, s you hear for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, inshallah. The moment that we are spending here is going to be a quality moment and will have some reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. On salawat, please. <coughs> the topic of our discussion today is unity of necessity being. We have discussed about the reasons and the argument of the existence of necessary being, existence of God, followed by the characteristics of necessary being, which we discussed about it uh, last week. And uh, tonight we are going to actually emphasize on just one more characteristic of this being called necessary being, we discussed about it, which uh, for the sake of those brothers and sisters who are joining us for the first time, <coughs> beings has been divided to three. One is impossible being, mm, and the example we have given before, two plus two become five, it's impossible. Never happened, never happened before, it's not gonna happen in the future also. 2 plus 2 becoming 6 also is another impossible thing. Um, 2 be, being smaller than 1 or 3 being uh, bigger than 4, it's impossible. So impossible beings is not even possible by God. Even God, please remember, this is very fine sentence you may not heard before, even God can not perform 
impossible things. <clears throat> when something is impossible, so simple, it is impossible. Even God can not under any circumstances do something about it. You cannot say 2 plus 2 become 5 if God willing. You cannot say so. <clears throat> so, so simple, it hasn't happened. And then we have possible being. Everything which is possible. For, and it's waiting for reason. If there is a reason for its existence, it exists. And if it's not, it doesn't exist. Dinosaurs were not living in one part of history. There was a reason for dinosaurs to come to exist. It was existing. Today, there is a reason for dinosaurs not to exist. And they are not existing. It depends on the reason. And then we have necessary being. Necessary being is the being which its being is necessary. Its existence is necessary. And the example we have given before, everything is sweet because of sugar, but sugar is sweet necessarily. Necessarily, sugar is sweet. So philosophers, instead of saying sugar, it says necessary, what? Sweetness. But when it comes to being, to existence, Everything exists because of God, and God exists necessarily. And we have proved it philosophically and logically, and from a rational point of view, we have given enough reasons. We have spent time here, we discussed. The brothers and sisters who missed those programs, they can um, listen. Uh, if they are a member of group, please go back and listen. And if you are not a member of group, please um, just provide your number today and you are going to be added to our group tonight. Uh, brothers are here, brother Zakaria is here, my son uh, Mahdi is here, uh, brother Rabi is here, other brothers, whoever is here, even the MC, you can talk to him. Give the number and we will add you tonight at the program for you to use. Now, we discussed last week about some characteristics of the necessary being. We continue that discussion on this issue, and that is another characteristic of necessary being, and that is unity. <clears throat> there are some religion which they are talking about Trinity, uh, God being in three forms, uh, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Uh, our Christian brothers and sisters, they believe in uh, some uh, uh, what you call one God in three form. And that is also the diagram which always, if you looked at the internet and if you Google it, you will find that this is like a proof for, for, for Trinity that at the same time that we say that the Christian says that is one God, at the same time you can see reflections of three lights. And uh, that's why I say it is logical to have one God and three demonstration of one God. So um, that is the one idea which is uh, dominating actually around the world. Uh, majority of religious people are Christian. Um, about 32, 33% of the followers of Ibrahimi religions are Christian. And then we have about 20, 24% of Muslims and then the rest are the other regions. But now there is a problem with that diagram. First of all, you know, it's misleading to say only three colors are coming out of that glass. Um, it's unlimited colors because it's just separation of colors. As soon as you reflect it, they add that glass uh, the, the immediate effect of that is the separation of the lights from each other and then you can see all of the layers of the light and the demonstration is very clearly here so it's not only three color it is thousands of colors uh, secondly each will have its own color so it's separate from the other. You can differentiate between this and the other one. So as soon as you can differentiate, then there is a body, and then there is a physic involved. And as soon as physic involved, then physic, physical things for its existence 
needs a reason and as soon as you need a reason you will be falling in the circle of possibility no more you are necessary being and as soon as you are not necessary being then you cannot be God it shows that God is a compound uh, you can see one light there but when you reflect it there you can see this it was not one light it's a compound of so many colors and we discussed about this that God cannot be a compound being because of those reasons that we have discussed about and also each part need the other parts you know you cannot separate these colors they're all together the whole that the, the first light which enters the white one it's combined of these and if you separate you are not going to have the original one anymore and the characteristic of each is going to be completely also different um, the Holy Spirit and the Son definitely they need God because you cannot say that God need the Son, Son need the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit need the Son, the God, God again need the Son, Son need the Holy Spirit. You cannot go that circle because we discussed about that, that logically that is impossible. And we discussed about it also before that dominoes has got a beginning and has got an end. You cannot go back to the first domino. Domino is only in line one two three four goes forward doesn't come backward one way, one way of course uh, the holy spirit and if in between the, the three the holy spirit and the sun is the one which need god so basically there is one god because the other two need the first one the first one doesn't need the sun God is God before Jesus Christ was born. And God is God after Jesus Christ's crucifixion also. He remains God. He was God before the birth of Jesus Christ. He was God before Holy Spirit even has been created by the same God. So God is the creator of Holy Spirit and creator of the Son. Jesus Christ. So the Son and the Holy Spirit need God. So God is one, not three. God, in fact, is one, not three. So, and then there is other idea concerning having two God, especially in the Zarushtianism, Zardushtiha, the Zarushtianism religion, here especially in Iran, they have got a confused philosophy. They realized in this world there are evils existing. And remember, we are going to talk about the existence of evil one night completely. Does evil exist or not? And if evil exists, who has created? Why God should create Satan? Why God should create evil? What a wonderful world we are going to have without the existence of evil. So why God even should create it for us to have so many problems and tribulations and this and that. We'll discuss about it. All of them has got philosophical reasons. All of them has got answers. I'm not going to enter to that on its time. We are going to discuss about it. But they realized evil exists. We can see a lot of sickness, the earthquake comes, the plague comes, millions of people are dying, the poverty exists, the health, unhealthy things are exist, people are doing oppression, we are enslaved and all of that, so evil exists. And from the other side, they realize goodness also exists. And then they thought, okay, God cannot be the creator of evil. The God of the goodness cannot be the creator of the evil. So we should have two God. 
one who created evil, which is called Ahriman, and the other one, which is, which is the creator of goodness, and that is Yazdan. So we have God of goodness and God of evil. So they didn't go for Trinity. They, 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 they are talking about having two God, which both of them are wrong. We can discuss about that issue properly. Um, we discussed about uh, unity of God, reasons for monotheism, the reasons for Tawheed and the oneness of God. Those are the two opinions that we have uh, we learned. There are a lot of other ones also that we don't want to discuss. If you go to India, some of them are worshipping cows, the other one worshipping idol, the other one worshipping, I don't know, a statue, somebody, you know, even sometimes a person like Sai Baba has been presented as God and you go to the other one. It's every, if, I think in every street there is a few gods all say existing here day. Anyway, the of yes, thousands of gods day. Now, we don't want to discuss about this. The whole issue is that, okay, if God is one, what is the reason? That is the topic that we are going to talk. One, the greatest house in the land has to be one. That's so simple examination. If I ask you that build one house, the greatest house. You just ask you one question, build the biggest and the greatest house on the land. How many houses can you make? Of course. Impossible. As soon as you give small space to another house, then it's not going to be the greatest. Okay? It's not going to be the greatest. So, if I give you a square border here, right? yes, there, there is a trunk, what you call it? This is a mustatil is what? Rectangular. Yeah, rectangular. <laughs> rectangular. And I ask you to draw a rectangular, the greatest, the biggest rectangular line on the border of here. How many you can build? How many can? It's only one. It's only one. It's not possible to have two. And. God being the greatest being, when you say Allahu Akbar, meaning God is greatest. He is the greatest being. It means whatever capacity this universe, the existence has, that is the extent of God. That we don't know. As we discussed, you remember, we said, up to this moment that we're talking, the greatest, the biggest thing hasn't been discovered. The smallest thing also hasn't been discovered. Up to this moment, the scientists and the technologists and those people with the biggest microscopes, they have not managed to find the smallest particle in this world. And they have not found the big one. We received lights from a star, which is 18 billion light years. 18 billion light years with distance from us. From us. 18 years of light distance. You know what that means? When the light travels from the sun and reached to the earth, it is only eight seconds. Eight seconds. The same light traveled 18 billion light years. It means the star was born and it is dead now, 
but the light of the birth of that son arrived to us now. That is the extent, that is until, and, and if the technology allows, when we reach to the same planet, to the same star, then those people who are there, they say, you are right at the beginning of the universe. <laughs> you are just right at the beginning. Because there is more to go. So, immediately when you say, God is greatest, you cannot be greatest if you are limited. You have to be one. Greatest has to be one. If they are, if they are two, so, if, they, if he is not one and he is two, then definitely they have to be different from each other. Imagine having two God, two necessary beings, two uh, almighty, two powerful beings. Imagine having two. They cannot be exactly like each other. Why? There was one more um, thing I have forgot to put here, uh, but I will talk about it. Two things. If they are from every aspect exactly like each other, they are one. If two things from every aspect it's exactly like each other, they are, one. They are actually one. Imagine two pictures, one picture that side, one picture this side, exactly like each other. But no, they are not exactly like each other. Why? Because one is pasted in the left, the other one is pasted on the right. They are not exactly like each other. But if you take that one, <clears throat> you copy, you not copy, you delete, you cut and paste over the other one to occupy exactly the same space also, then you have one picture. You cannot imagine having two things from every aspect exactly like each other. Should be differently difference to differentiate. Should be differently something to differentiate between the two to say one and two and if there is nothing to differ then there is one definitely for hundred percent sure all logical people say it is one not two t now if that is the case then now those differences should be something which should Differentiate. We have to say, okay, God number one, God number two. One is yellow, the other one is red. One is more powerful, the other one is less powerful. One has got, uh, <coughs> uh, has created seven billion people. The other one has created six billion seven hundred fifty-three thousand. So many. One has created a sun with four thousand degree. What you call? heat, the other one did not manage to get so much energy in one uh, planet, so he had a little bit of short, or maybe more, so it should be a different. One has given a more intelligent, he created more intelligent human being than us, and the other one is less intelligent, should be a difference between the two God. Okay, one is bigger, the other one is powerful, the other one is more knowledgeable, the one existed before this God, the other one existed less than, 
you know, the, the years difference, one is older, the other one is lesser, should be difference to differentiate between the two God. That has to be also realized. Now, if the one decides, <coughs> if one is bigger, one is more powerful, one, one can do anything he wants, one has got more population, one has got so much energy that as soon as God number two decides to do something, he controls. You know? God number two want, okay, I have got now the technology, I want to increase my creatures from six billion so many to ten billion. God number real, one realize, yeah, that's going to be uh, harmful to my kingdom. I'm not going to allow it. And he is able to control, so he is God. Because he can control. The other one was not able to do what he wants. So God is one. If the one decides to do something, the other can prevent, then the second one is God. If the second one can prevent the decision of number one, then the second one is God. If can't, then the first one is God. So simple, at the end of the day, you cannot have two God. God has to be one. Then, if you read Shakespeare's articles, writings, no matter where you read, if you are a person who knows literature, as soon as you read, you say, this has to be Shakespeare. Even if you read a quote of Shakespeare in a book written by Mr. B, still you can recognize. Like writing of Dr. Shariati, for example, as soon as you read, this is the type of style of writing of Dr. Shariati, for example. Or Jalal Al Ahmad, or Simin Daneshwar, or this one, or that one. You can recognize by the style of the writing of the person that this poetry looks like Ferdowsi. Looks like Ferdowsi. By reading of the, the text, even if you don't know that this is Ferdowsi, by reading of those poetry, you can realize, recognize, because you know the style of Ferdowsi. So by reading the style of Ferdowsi, you read one poetry and you immediately say, this is Ferdowsi poetry. Why? Because Ferdowsi has got one style in the whole book. One style in the whole book. By that style, you can realize that there is one us in world. And if you look at the universe, again you see the one style. Wherever you go, the gravity is there. Wherever you go, philosophy of cause and effect is there. Wherever you go, everything needs the other one. Wherever you go, there is a type of relationship between the planets around the world. Wherever you go, there is this formula, water is this. Wherever you go, water is the same. It doesn't change here and there. If you go to America, water will boil at 100 degrees. If you come to South Africa, it will be 100 degrees. You go to moon again also to be 100 degrees. It doesn't change. So, yes, if there was two God, then there was two laws. Two prophets to a style of running the whole show. The one say, I want the distance between the sun and the moon to be so much. The other one says, no, this is what I have decided. Okay. The one God says, my creatures should have 155 years life. The other one says, for me, 70 is enough. It should be two styles. But wherever we go, we found that there is only one style. You go to moon, you go to sun, you go to Mars, you come to Earth. Wherever you go, you study any text. You go to chemical world, you go to physical world, you go to spiritual world. Everything you discuss, you study, there is only one hand working. 
and you realize that the cre creation has got only one creator, not two. In the whole world, there is only one style. If there was two, definitely there was difference in the creation. <clears throat> the other one argument says, this is called Burhan Siddiqeen, the truthful ones, the truthful arguments. It says, God is a necessary being. That we already proved, we discussed, and fully we understand now that God is necessary being why we say so. We also know based on the arguments that we presented before that necessary being has to be absolute, not compound, not to need the parts for existence. It has to be absolute. Then absolute being cannot be limited. As soon as you are absolute, then you should not be limited. As soon as you are limited, then you are not absolute. Should not be limited. If there is two God, then each of them should have creation. And if you have creation here, you actually, in other words, you have created a limitation for the other God. The one God created so many places, occupied so much of a space. So occupation of so much of space by the second God has actually given limitation for the first God to experience his kingdom. So you actually limited his environment. You invaded his kingdom. And he is now not a complete absolute God. So it has to be only one God that in his kingdom should not be no limitation. Then the creature of the one God will limit the other one. So because there is only one God and this God is one, we have one style in the whole world and necessary being has to be one. Salawat. My Umma. My Ummah, you will say, Rasulullah on that day, even though we've strayed from him and his way. My brothers, my sisters in Islam, let's struggle, work and pray. If we are